It's a matter of a very deep concern. It is uh, very unfortunate that in the last six months, we've lost a number of Jawans and officers in Jammu. It would be very helpful if there are elections in Jammu and Kashmir and restoration of statehood. Both of these are necessary. Down the line now, there is a single chain of command. From Prime Minister Modi to Home Minister Amit Shah to the Governor Manoj Sena and down. So all the power is with them. So if there are security lapses, then obviously they have to take responsibility. We cannot allow this sort of uh, attrition all the time, losing valuable lives. How would you see the overall situation in Jammu? No, it's a matter of grave concern. I wouldn't call it critical because that is uh, uh, going a little too far. But certainly, it's a matter of a very deep concern. Because for many years, the uh, uh, terrorist activities were confined to the valley. As you know, they, we had a lot of uh, uh, losses there. That has been tightened now. So now it's very clear that they have turned their attention towards Jammu. And it is uh, very unfortunate that in the last six months, we've lost a number of Jawans and officers in Jammu. Poonch Rajauri in Doda and in Hiranagar. So we have to now reorient our uh, strategy to meet this threat. The former Chief Minister of Jammu and Kashmir and beautiful Mehbooba Mufti or gather is the former Jammu and Kashmir Chief Minister Umar Abdullah and Farooq Abdullah were raising questions on the current situation. They are blaming the policies of current sitting government. How would you see the policies of the current government regarding Jammu and Kashmir? So the policies, of course, obviously the policies are to maintain law and order. We wouldn't have a policy which would welcome terrorists. I mean, the policies are always the same, whatever government comes into power. But I think that they're referring to 370 and that. You see, when 370 was finally uh, abolished or run down, whatever, uh, it was said that, This was said at that time. That has not turned out to be true. So, uh, leaving aside the debate about 370, that's done and dusted. There's no point going over that now. But the fact of the matter is that it would be very helpful if there are elections in Jammu and Kashmir and restoration of statehood. Both of these are necessary. You see, the government is doing a good job. He's working very hard. He and his whole bureaucracy are working. But the fact is that without a government in position, uh, what do the people do? They can't go to the bureaucrats in their houses and talk to them. Kis se mile ho? Pehle to ye tha ki apne MLA tha, usko pakdo. Mere gaon mein ye pool tuta hua hai, ye school nahi chal raha, ye nahi chal raha. Ab kiske paas jaayein log? Ko hai nahi jiske paas jaayein. Isliye what is required therefore is the re-establishment of an elected government, free and fair elections, and the restoration of statehood. After all this is done, then only can we say that normalcy has been restored. Meanwhile, fighting the terrorists on the ground, of course, is the responsibility of the government now because they have all the power they need. There's no, they can't blame any chief minister, they can't blame any minister. It's all the power is with them, so they have to do what is necessary. So the Congress senior lady who is the current LOP in lower house of yes, parliament, yes also raises the question about the Jammu and Kashmir current situation. He says it's a serious matter of concern. Time and time again and again there are security lapses. Our security agencies are getting failure about this terrorist attack. He also raises about the policies of GOM. Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi. He says we are with the families of our soldiers, but this is the time to take action. Yes, definitely I agree with that in the sense that uh, well, you know, down the line now, there is a single chain of command. From Prime Minister Modi to Home Minister Amit Shah to the Governor Manoj Sena and down. So all the power is with them. So if there are security lapses, then obviously they have to take responsibility. I'm not blaming any particular person. But I'm saying that where there, where there are security lapses in a state that is directly under 
central rule, then obviously the center has to take responsibility. So uh, I think that uh, I'm not sure I didn't hear what Rahul said, but what he was saying obviously was that we have to step up our uh, security apparatus, and we cannot allow this sort of uh, att attrition all the time, losing valuable lives.